Hey guys, my name is Danielle, and today I have a full day of eating while on the ketogenic diet. So if you guys are interested in seeing what some of my meals consist of, please stay tuned. Hi friends, welcome back. Um, today I have a full day of eating while on keto. But today is even more awesome because it is a collab. Yes, girls and boys, it is a collab. And it is with the awesome Lauren Brazy. I'm sure you guys have seen her. She is like keto killing it, her and her man. So I just absolutely love her. I came across her. Actually, she was recommended to me from my girl Paige. And she's like, Danielle, you back on keto? Girl, you need to check her out because she is doing this keto thing. So um, I went over, checked her out, and I was like keto sister yes so she is really killing it I really love the fact that both her and her honey are doing it because you guys know me and my man's is doing it too and yeah so she's a sweet little girl and I just love her I love her personality I love how funny she is and her meals look so good and she just really just gets it I know right now she's doing strict keto but I think she did say she's gonna go back to lazy keto just to kind of add in a bullet point real quick I am doing lazy keto right now just because I'm just getting back into keto, I just really wanted to get into ketosis, really just get used to eating you know, high fat, low carb, and I'm really just kind of mentally checking my carbs, kind of staying between you know, 20, 25 net carbs a day. Um, that's working for me right now. I'm thinking I'm gonna finish out this week and then next week I will go on to like a strict keto where I kind of count my macros and stuff like that. Um, I don't really, and Lauren made this point, you become kind of obsessive when you start counting your macros because you're so obsessed about what foods can you eat and it it's, becomes a lot of work and I know that a lot of people say okay well this is a lot of work but I want this to be an attainable lifestyle and um, I'll give strict keto a try again see how I like it but if I feel like I'm getting like too obsessive over it I might nip that in the butt but we will see so if you guys are from Lauren's channel hello my name is Danielle and I am back on keto. I was on keto for a while. I went ahead and left for a little bit, um, explored some other options. They didn't work out for me. And now I'm, you know, back on the keto bandwagon. And um, yeah, so we do a little bit of everything around here. Lifestyle, weight loss, beauty, budgets, whatever, whatever. Everything that is anything in your daily life. I pretty much just throw it in front of the camera and tell you guys about it. So if you guys are new, hello, I hope you stick around. And if you guys have not checked out Lauren, after you get done with this video, go check my girl out. Love her. Love, love, love her. You guys are going to completely love her. So, um, without further ado, let me go ahead and jump into this video and share with you guys all I've been eating. All right, toodaloo. Good morning, friends. So we are going to start off this full day of eating and it is almost nine o'clock. I've been up since 4.30, so I'm hungry and I think my last meal yesterday was around a little bit before five so um, I've been on quite a fast I did have two cups of coffee um, and they were 100 calories I consider that not breaking my fast I know someone said 50 but I'm going with 100 you do you boo but anyways um, so I'm gonna show you what I got I went ahead and prepped this yesterday this is basically like a egg bake I guess so it's fresh broccoli it's about one and a half cups in the whole um, like casserole I guess it's a half dozen eggs, about four pieces of Polish ham, and about five pieces of um, like Mexican quesadilla cheese. And yeah, so I'm gonna have a big piece. The only carb in this is going to come from your broccoli. And I think the whole broccoli count was like five for the whole thing, so very minimal carbs. So I'm gonna have that, and um, I believe, I want to say there is this Polish ham that I got does not have any carbs in it because I was like searching through the store so yeah so I'm gonna have that and then I'm going to top it for some extra fat with a little bit of sour cream and yeah so I'll show you that I'll plate it up I'm just gonna throw it in the microwave it's really really good guys and it helps you get your veggies in there as well and I really try to get a lot of my carbs from veggies some days I'm really good at it some days I am not and today I'm gonna strive to be good so yeah and it was super easy I put it in like um that slow cooker thing that I guys showed you my last full day of eating you have a bake option on that so I just browned I browned the the broccoli in there with a little bit of bacon grease let me show you what also I was watching Jen's video and I was like genius she saves her bacon grease and uses it to cook so that's what I did for extra fats and um, yeah so I browned that and then I just 
cracked some eggs, I whisked them together, topped them on the top of the broccoli, and then I coated it with um, a couple slices of ham and a couple slices of cheese and just baked it, I think at like 295 for like 15, 20 minutes until the, obviously the eggs were done. So there we go. That's breakfast. I'm going to show you it when I'm plating it up. Okay, so here is the, like my plate or whatever. So I have the two portions of um, the casserole and then I have a couple jalapenos to add some spice to my life and then two tablespoons of sour cream. I did weigh that out and that is breakfast. So I believe that sour cream is, I think it's two carbs for two tablespoons. The jalapenos are zero because I counted them out and for the portions it is about two carbs with the broccoli so but tons of fiber but all right I'm gonna eat my breakfast I will check in with you guys in a minute I am going to get ready to work out today it's Monday I need to get my workout in today is going to be legs with cardio and a little bit of ab work so um, it's actually going to be more um, resistance training than strength today. So one day I do heavy weights, the next day, the next day I do twice a week, the next time I do more reps and lower weights. So um, yeah, I'm, this is my favorite pre-workout. I will never ever change. People ask me about it all the time. Currently I have the blue raspberry flavor. It's really good. I've tried watermelon, I've tried grape, um, fruit punch. I've tried quite a few of them. They've all tasted really well. Um, these do have some carbs in it guys so for two scoops is two carbohydrates so you know I am going to count for that today but it's worth it to me it has all your essential amino acids in it so it's really great for energy and muscle recovery and yeah I really like it so if you guys were looking for one this is a really great option so I'm gonna go ahead and have two scoops of this put in my water right there and I can't find a shaker cup, that's why I'm like being a bougie princess right now. And get this workout in, because I need to. I have been so consumed with taking care of my pup that I have totally not worked out. So he's napping, I'm working out, getting it done. Let's do this. All right, my friends, I wanted to show you, I already started dinner because um, I might have to do some running around later, so I wanted to make sure I had dinner ready. And what we are having tonight is this Monday, and Mondays are always super chill meals for me, like either like a soup or a crock pot or leftovers because that's how we roll. But this is taco soup. I absolutely love it. My kids love it. It is such a great meal. So in this entire bowl or this pot is 22 carbs, this whole thing. So if you eat the whole thing, is 22 carbs. I'm willing to bet, I mean, I would have to break it up into servings, but... Um, there's probably between eight to ten servings in here, so I would divide that amongst you know eight divided by you know 22 and do the math and eight goes in. I would say it's probably about three and a half carbs per serving. Okay, that's what we're gonna go with. I'm no mathematician, but that's it. But anyway, so what's in here? It is the I use the Aldi breakfast sausage, the pork sausage. You can use ground beef, you can use whatever. I like the flavor that that pork sausage gives, and it's pretty high in fat as well, so it will keep us full, and it gives it a really great flavor. So that is two links in there. And then I did about three, three cups of chicken, um, or chicken stock, and it's zero carbs. I get mine from, our chicken broth, I get mine from Aldi. You gotta watch the carbs because some of them have a lot of carbs in it. The Aldi Fit and Active one does not. So that's in here. I have about two cups of heavy whipping cream. Um, and then I added in two of these, this is where some of your carbs are coming from. This diced tomatoes with the chilies. I added in two of those. And I put in a brick of cream cheese, so there's some where the rest of your carbs are coming from. And then instead of using, you can use taco soup mix. This is like a queso soup, I guess they call it. I use these um, Goya Sazon mixes. They taste, you can use these for any of your, like, um, like if you want to season your ground beef with them, if you want to season your taco soup with them, your chicken, your fish, whatever. They are awesome and they are no carbs. Taco seasoning has a ton of carbs in it, so that's why I always offer these. These will be linked down in my description or in my Amazon store. So if you guys want to check it out, I know they're kind of hard to come by. Um, we have them in our local markets, but 
the Sasson mix and it is bomb. So I'm going to let this cook and just come to a simmer and then I'm going to turn it down and then what I do is I put a piece of like cheese. We do have some queso, um, queso like uh, Mexican quesadilla cheese, um, like melting cheese in the fridge so I'm probably going to put some of that on there. And when it's all plated up and served up, I will show you guys. But yep, this is what is for dinner. So I just wanted to kind of, I always start out with so It drives me nuts and I try to edit that out as much as possible. So sorry about that. Anyways, um, I wanted to just tell you guys when I am, you know, just drinking my beverages throughout the day, I always do like these like crystal light packet these um, in like the pitcher though. And I always add in this Morton's Light Salt. And so I'm going to show you how I do it because people ask me how much I do. I don't know. I just kind of give it a little shake there. Just so it just gives me a little bit and I put it in all my drinks throughout the day. So it adds up. But I don't want it to be overwhelmingly salty. I know you can do like, um, like a ketoid with like pink Himalayan salt and light salt. And I tried it one time and it was really gross. So I just stick with it like this and it doesn't bother me. So there you go. My dinner is all plated up. I decided to do like a soup and salad combo. So this is going to be two carbs for the lettuce, one carb for the dressing. So three carbs and about three carbs for the serving of soup. And that's a grand total of six carbs. So I'm at about 11 carbs today. So there we go. And I'm gonna go ahead and put some salt and pepper on there. And that's it. So let me go ahead and eat this and I will check in with you guys later. So this is going to be my last serving of food and I've been having a sweet tooth. So um, we went to Aldi yesterday and I picked up this like bootleg Aldi version of like the protein ice cream. It's this one, this chocolate, 280 grams or 280 calories per serving, 24 grams. And it is nine carbs. So that is going to be it. That's going to leave me right around 20-ish carbs. So I'm not counting anything. I'm just kind of eyeballing it. I'm probably, after this week, I'm going to start using a calculator and everything. So yeah, this is going to be my last little bit of food. And um, Rhea tried it already. She said it was really good. So And it was only $2. So if you guys are at Aldi, go ahead and get you some. Hopefully that whole this whole video kind of gave you guys some ideas, maybe you know opened your eyes to some things that you haven't tried. That taco soup is fire. I don't know if it's under taco soup or queso soup. Either way, same thing. It tastes so freaking good. It is my family favorite. There was none left for leftovers, but it is bomb. Um, here's a quick little bullet point to add. That protein, like all the ice cream, I didn't finish it. I only had a little taste of it, and the aftertaste was kind of weird. Um, yeah, so I don't know, maybe don't get it, I lied. They have other flavors, maybe the other flavors were good, but that chocolate one, that's no bueno. Mm -mm. <laughs> but all right guys, I'm going to wrap this up. Thank you for hanging out with me. Be sure to check out Lauren's video. I'll have her channel and her video links below. You're welcome, you're welcome. All right guys, I will see you later. Thank you and take it easy, bye guys. Something on my mind I bet you know what I'm thinking about You know I can't stop loving you Every time when you're looking at me It feels like my heart is keeping on beat, yeah You know I can't live without you